I wanted to do today's stream because I ran into something really interesting that I thought I wanted to show everybody. And I wanted to do it live because it's basically a desktop environment that, uh, well, it, it's basically a modified GNOME desktop environment that looks very, very similar to what I've running. I've, I've told everyone I've done Awesome Window Manager for, um, for a while now. And Awesome Window Manager is great, and the theme I use for it is also fantastic. But uh, needless to say, that lead developer that designed what I use on a daily basis has moved on, and he took a lot of the stuff I use on a daily basis and made uh, basically his own modified GNOME desktop environment. I, I wanna just tell you it's an extension, but at the same time, not really. I mean, it does a lot of stuff. It's still in beta. It's on GitHub, so everyone can try it. You could follow along for this video and do it. GNOME. GNOME is the desktop environment I chose. Most people know I hate GNOME. And GNOME is where we start this journey because I wanted to show something that maybe you all haven't seen. Most people know I use Awesome Window Manager with a material theme. However, that lead developer went on to develop something called Material-Shell. That's the whole purpose of this live stream. We finally are getting to it. The whole project an hour later, and this is just simply incredible. This is Awesome Window Manager in GNOME. It's a beta, expect bugs right here. I can read, but it's still fun to tinker with. Me personally, I still like Awesome Window Manager version of Material th uh, sh Shell theme a little bit better just because it's a little more minimal. So uh, let's get this installed. Now, let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna grab a new one. It's been a while since I used GNOME. But I wanted to show this. This is the guy that developed the materials uh, theme for Awesome. He just moved it over to GNOME. So, yes, continue. Do it. All right. What is going on here with Material Shell? Because we are... This has just been a terrible stream, by the way. I have not been able to get this going. Uh, well, it's because I lack reading capabilities. All right, we're going to go Alt F2, type R. Restart is not available in Wayland. Oh, Debian, you're using Wayland by default? I thought Fedora was the only one that did this. All right, we got to disable Wayland. They might have put this as sudo daemon conf. Yeah, that's it. That's what we need right there, guys. Yeah. Uh, I was like, all right, I know it's not it's just a mistype. Sometimes the, the instructions change a little bit. All right, let's reboot. And then we're going to come back to this, and everything's going to work great. And you're going to see see where it all is, this new material theme. It's, it's not this difficult, by the way. Oh, 3.30. Okay. Good Lord. All right, Debian's really, really far behind. Okay, so that's what's going on with what's going on. I was like... All right, I think we're on like an old version or something. Huh, all right. I'm not gonna do an auto remove yet. All right, let's 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 give this a reboot, shall we? <laughs> let's see if we bricked our new Debian install by going from stable to Sid. That'd be hilarious. Okay, okay, that was, oh crap. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, my mouse isn't responding. Uh, skip. All right. Finally, two and a half hours later, we are finally on the material shell in Gnome. Beautiful. Beautimus. I dig it. Ah, uh, here we are. We launch into new things. Flip back and forth. This is this is what I did this whole live stream for. So for the five people left over from the start, 
We finally made it. <laughs> uh, what's the best way to get your settings to transfer? I like to do a whole home drive. I, I do. That's what I did on this machine right here. That's why a lot of like people are like pulling up like the app app window like when I'm here. You're probably like, why is there so much crap on Vanilla Debian? That's me from my home directory. All right. Uh, a couple other things to clear out here. Let's go back to material shell a billion years later. And we are finally pretty much there. Uh, we've already enabled the extension uh, to navigate. It breaks out everything as you launch new stuff. Like uh, the cool thing is let's let's get terminal going a little bit. You see, it's it, the neat thing about this compared to what I've been doing, which is awesome window manager, is this uses a lot of the back end. When you get window managers, they manage windows. That's pretty much it. They don't really do much, if anything else, and you have to like hard code hotkey shortcuts. And there's a lot of Damien's that it's missing, like displays and that type of stuff. You gotta do it all from command line, which is fine, and it makes it very fast and lightweight, but when you can take almost a window manager and then a desktop environment like this, uh, Pop OS is doing something kind of like this with their shell. Uh, I think it's, I forget what it's called on Pop OS, but they have like a tiling mode. It kind of sucks. I didn't, I didn't like it that much, but it's something kind of like this. And uh, yeah, it's just neat to do something fun. It's just not really there. So we're going to do terminal. And I think this is GNOME Terminal. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll do that. Add. So, yeah, there it goes. All right, so we launch into Terminal. We get this. It, it does a little bit different from a regular tiling window manager, too. Because it's using GNOME, there's a lot of fanciness going here. You got the animations, which you can turn this off with GNOME Tweak Tool. But uh, you can also do traditional side-by-side or go back to the tab. So it has like this tabbed and then we launch more. It's kind of kind of a, a very uh, interesting in that regard. So we can actually close out of all this. The thing that's still a little buggy is like how it doesn't return from the, the tabbed to the tiling, which is not true tiling. It's almost like a an interesting way of doing it. Like I would, if I was gonna use this full time, probably would switch out to using tabbed all the time and just getting used to opening up new workspaces. So if we're gonna do like text editor here, let's launch into that and then come down in here. Let's launch terminal here, come down one more and then do files, launch that. And then like, you know, sky's the limit. So. That's that's it, and then everything automatically gets assigned using just super and the numbers. So material shell with gnome bundled in was the whole purpose of this live stream, even though I did just a terrible job with the install. <laughs> uh, we got there. We got there at the end. Oh lordy. Oh, how much how much memory does this use? That's a good question. Let's pull up some of the results here because oh lordy. What, why is it installing all that for NeoFetch? Probably needed it anyways. Uh, let's see here. 2,500 packages so far. We're on kernel 5.7. Uh, we're using Mutter for the window manager. Gnome for the desktop environment. Teladark. I think we still need to install some of these. Uh, some of the theming. I think some of the theming's a bit off here. Memory usage, a little under two gigs. Oops. You know what? Let's do uh, AP2. Uh, nah, we'll do HTOP. I was like, oh, we could do bash top. <laughs> but I, I, I don't even have the repo loaded. Uh, well. Okay, yeah. Keyboard didn't seem like it was working for a minute there. I mean, it is still still in experimental stages. Let's see how it does with the... Okay, cool. I was like, is it going to kill that workspace? Kind of neat. All right. So if I kill the middle workspace, move down. Yeah, okay, cool. I was just seeing how it cleans up workspaces automatically. 
All right, guys. Well, I, I wanted to finally get to this, explore this aspect of it. Again, what we're looking at here is material shell. So if anybody wants to try this, let's say if you're a GNOME user, this is really just an extension. You do have to have a relatively newer uh, OS. So probably like Ubuntu 20, Mint 20, Pop OS 20. I love that they finally matched all the numbers up with those that's nice but something newer obviously the base stable version of debian the gnome was too far out of date but newer gnomes uh new gnome newer gnomes <laughs> but gnome version i think 3.34 is a minimum for this as it states down here so that's what most of the stream was just sitting here yeah right here stable version of gnome was 3.30 which is really old and uh yeah now that we're on sid we're on this version. Which version of GNOME are we on since we're using Sid? Let's find that out. I'm kind of curious. Um, we are in 3.36, so, of GNOME. Pretty cool, though. That worked out well. <laughs> 